If you guys are looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 22 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and they have 24-7 support. Head over to MuttReserve.com and use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to earn your Ultimate Champion Camp Chancellor and your Team Captain, which can be very confusing for a few people. I'm not going to lie, guys. Even Team Captain was a little bit hard to figure out as well as how to upgrade them, the best ways to go about upgrading them. And then, of course, probably tomorrow, I'll drop the fastest ways to go ahead and upgrade players and everything else, like the fast way to get Camp Chance, fast way to level up. That'll be tomorrow. Today, we're going to go over Cam and your Team Captains. If you want to know which one's the best to pick, I've made a video on that, so check that out on my channel, guys. First things first, though, Poodle Squad shout-out for the day. Shout-out to Joel Captain for being a part of the Poodle Squad, man. Thank you so much for showing support. Guys, this is day one, which means our channel needs to boom, right? You guys want to help the channel boom? All you got to do is like the video. Every like goes a long way. Like I've been saying, guys, can we get 150 likes in this video? Just spam the like button. Takes a second out of your day, and it helps me out a ton. And guys, we're super close to 23K. Can we get back to 23K? We were really close last match. We didn't hit it. Can we hit it today, guys? And of course, smash the like button, like I said. Comment down below, Poodle Squad, and like the video to be shouted out in that. Now, let's get into the video. So, first things first, let's talk about how to earn them. So, the hardest one, I think, is Team Captain, like, mentally, like, to figure out. So, you go to the campaign, right? First off, most people wouldn't even know the campaigns where you get them. If you even read the description here, you're in a 75 overall campaign edition play. It doesn't even say it. So, you really wouldn't know. But if you go to solos and you go to challenges and you look close enough, you will see it. So if you go to challenges over here and you go to the campaign, if you look on the right where my head is actually, like right above my head right here, you see the Jack Youngblood. So it says you can earn all these awards, 100k. By the way, I like that it does this. When you go over the solos, it shows you all the rewards on the right. So 100k, 230 training, 7 common or better strategy items. So replace all this stuff. And Jack Youngblood. Doesn't tell you when. Doesn't tell you how long. So you're like, okay, let me hop in. Let me check the milestones out. Doesn't tell you again. So at this point... Like, maybe I gotta play the whole sequence. Preseason, week 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, bye, 17, 18, wildcard, divisional, conference, Super Bowl. At that point, I was kind of freaking out, right? But if you look closely, it doesn't say it, but I know it based on what I've what I've seen. It's gonna be week 3. So you gotta finish through week 3. That's the week you're supposed to get them right here. Can't see it yet, of course, I have to play through it. But I want to get the info out to you first before I go and spend all my time playing on my game, right? Gotta get this info out for you guys for your trials. So... Go to week three and play through it. When you get to week three, you will earn your player. Now, it's not going to be Jack Youngblood. It'll be a fantasy pack, right? You're going to have Jack Youngblood, Lance Allworth, uh, Lynch, and I don't remember the other guy, but they're trash. The ones you want to really go for are either Jack Youngblood or Lance Allworth. Lance Allworth will be an 88 speed wide receiver with good route running and catching. Jack Youngblood's going to be a really athletic run stuffing and pass rushing. And I'm personally leaning more towards Jack Youngblood, in my opinion, though, just so you guys know. I did make a video breaking it all down, so check that out. But I'm leaning towards Youngblood for a few reasons. He's really fast for ends to start the year. He can stop the run and pass rush, which is pretty rare at this point. With strategy cards, could probably be all, th all threshold as well. And there's a lot of good wide receivers. I want Jamar Chase, my rookie premier Nat player. I do want Tyree Kill. I'm probably going to end up getting like a Devonta Smith. Like, there's really not going to be much room to go ahead and play around with different receivers, right? I mean, I, that's why I'm thinking Young Youngblood's probably the move for me. But so yeah, once you get the pack, though, let's get back to the point. You get the pack, and now what you're going to do is... You click on the team captain. In years past, it either cost a lot of training or a lot of time. This year, it costs neither. It costs five training per level up. So it's going to start at an 85 overall, which is a really good overall to start. Probably be the best player on your team. So you can go over and you get you click on him like you're going to upgrade or power him up. And you drop training on him. So what you're going to do is when you click on it, it'll say like 85, 86, 87, 88. You can get him all the way up to an 89 overall with only 20 training, I believe. I'm pretty sure it's only four total upgrades. 86, 87, 88, 89, 94. Five each that's 20 training which you st i started with 50 training right so it's like i can already train him and even better guys his abilities only cost five training as well so i could put three abilities on him for 15 training power him up with 20 that's only 35 training and i could put an x factor for 10 for 45 training which i already have i can x factor ability out him and max out my team captain day one super easy to do and make sure you guys go ahead and do that if you don't know what i'm talking about guys you just click on the card like literally you're gonna edit a card right you're gonna go upgrade him you're gonna put abilities on him You'll see it. It's just like upgrading a team captain in the past. Very simple to do. Team captain, I highly recommend you put abilities on him day one and make sure to activate in your lineup as well. You can't beat the value of five training. I mean, abilities go for like 1300 training and you're getting it for like less than 1% of the price, like 0.00 of the, of the fraction of the training. Highly recommend you take advantage of your team captain. He's going to be a good player this year. You can start with Lance if you want. I'm not entirely sure how they're going to go ahead and do, um, you know, if you're going to end up switching him or 
if you plan on keeping them all year but it's recommended that you go ahead and you make sure you use it right if you go to exchange here it's uh i didn't see one before but you know it's very likely they'll probably add one at some point a t uh, exchange but don't don't do it on my end you know on my behalf take the one you really want on so you know whether or not the exchange is going to be in game or when it will be in game right or if so i like i'm going with youngblood probably now let's get to cam chancellor because that's the one that's going to get even crazier than the team captain although don't sleep on the team captain this year they're going to be super useful go to ultimate champion this is going to be your cam chancellor bam cam 95 overall card so you're going to start off with the 74 overall card and you got to upgrade him through objective so it's not you can't use training you can't use you can't spend money it doesn't take some time to get him though is going to be easy get him max is going to be hard cam chancellor is back making his appearance as your ultimate champion earn him by reaching level six and then scoring a touchdown so if you click on him it says level six there but it says level four here so from what i heard it's level four i don't know why i would say reach level six that doesn't really make sense but reach level six to four is the real one so reach level four to unlock the mission to obtain ultimate cam chancellor so reach level four very easy i'm already level two and i have i played like just the preseason solos and then score td so all you gotta do is reach level four and then go into a solo challenge and then go ahead and score a quick touchdown i play a play a one that you win with a passing touchdown make it quick and then once you leave you will have your camp chance of 74. some important things to note guys you may not know how to upgrade them though right you guys i want to learn there how to upgrade your seasons champion as well if you guys do come over here to missions you'll see if you go to ultimate season and you look through the rewards to ultimate season rewards you will see at level five you get a season champion so here's the thing the season champions another free player you can get you get the choice between junior Seau and devin hester you may not have known that so level five is where you get the pack to get them you see that little green pack right above my head like right there so you're gonna get devin hester Seau. i probably recommend hester he's gonna be really fast he has good route running too which is kind of crazy um hopefully some good abilities but he's gonna be good so that's how you get him at level five if you guys wanted not to upgrade him every 10 levels from level five you're going to get another upgrade so at level 15 you get a season collectible which is gonna get him up in overall at level 25 you're gonna get another season collectible as you guys can see at level 35 you will also get a season collectible and then of course level 45 and then at that point they should be maxed out at their max overall if you have any other questions about that head on down below to my twitter dm or comment down below and let me know if you guys have any questions i will get back to you as soon as possible guys to unlock the stuff to actually go ahead and upgrade camp chance you have to get to level four which actually does take a little bit guys i'm gonna be honest with you it's not quick at all it's gonna take me more than probably a few hours so i want to get this info out to you guys because at the end of the day i'm gonna make another video probably tomorrow going over how to do them the fastest so that's gonna be the video where you really need to see the objectives i'm gonna go over how to do them quickly but for now as you guys i just want to show you all the info of how to get them where to upgrade them from and how to work so in this guide right here you're gonna see all the objectives it could be solos score this do this with camp chancellor force fumbles with camp Ch it could be any of that stuff right you guys know the deal so go in there and start those up as soon as you guys can again you gotta get to level four to unlock them first which is actually not not easy i'm gonna be honest with you guys with a 10 hour trial not easy but again you guys are on the trial this week it's not gonna be the easiest thing anyways and then of course i'm going to go ahead tomorrow probably make how to finish it the fastest so you're gonna be able to go through that and get a pretty good idea of all the objectives and everything and how to do them like i said all you need to know in this video is where to get them and how and where to go next video will be how to do them so i'll have it unlocked by then so i can go ahead and show you guys again want to get the info out to you guys i don't want to be post this in two days because at that point it's not relevant i can't help you guys at that point i mean i can answer comments but that's not going to get to everyone because no one's gonna, not everyone comments you know their questions but m chancellor is going to be a beast he's going to be a six foot three hitting block shedding tall you could put him at linebacker honestly with that speed and everything you may not even want him deep considering the block shed you have but again you could put him at corner maybe I'm pretty sure we had a secondary at corner, which that block shot's crazy. But again, I'd probably rather have him as a user. I kind of want to use him, honestly. I, I don't know. He's going to be crazy. Abilities on him. But guys, that's pretty much wraps up everything. So you get the team captains we went over. Team captain's going to be the easiest to get, honestly, because all you got to do is play the campaign stuff much quicker than level four. And then, of course, upgrading them with training is just a joke. It's going to be the easiest thing in the world. Definitely will get that done. And then Cam Chancellor by himself gonna take some time but again make sure you guys are getting these done you'll get the team captains maxed out probably in the first day if you want to you can easily get that done with like under an hour on the trial camp chance on the other hand could take you at least a day to get to the level at least if you're grinding and then it'll probably take you a few weeks to a month to finish him at least right not gonna be the easiest thing leveling up's a bit harder this year but i like that i don't like that you can just sit there four hours play solo and be done with it it kind of feels good to know that there's a grind to the game again and there's something to really grind for day to day right but uh camp chancellor gets up pretty high in overall so he's gonna be one of the best strong safeties throughout the year i still have concerns if he'll hit a 99 speed or not but there are gonna be physical stuff so he should be able to but nonetheless guys he's gonna be a beast for quite a while the quicker you get him done 
the quicker you have a God Squad, you know, a God Squad esque player, right? That's dominant. It's not like Sam Mills last year. Like, this is a good card. He's a safety, so he's not a linebacker. Linebacker sucked last year. But overall, I like it. Hopefully, if you guys have any questions regarding any of this, just comment down below. Feel free to ask. I will answer as soon as I can. I'll help you guys out as much as you guys need. And of course, if you guys are struggling with anything else, go over to Twitter and DM me. My link will be down below in the description. DM me on Twitter if you guys need help. My DMs are always open. I'll get to you as soon as I can. Today is my birthday, though, so I'm going to be a little busy today. I'm going to try my best, though. Throughout the day, I kind of want to enjoy it after I'm done with all these videos and grinding. If you guys want a Poodle Squad shout-out, all you got to do is like the video and comment down below Poodle Squad. And, of course, give this video a huge thumbs up, as always, to help out the channel and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.